talk to him on your Facebook page. You got me logged in here? Mm -hmm. So I can like go on his? Can I type on his and yeah. send him an answer? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So, so let me be sure. Let me encourage that. How does CASA strengthen and protect survivor rights? What they need more than anything is they need to make sure they're getting confidential support and good information at the moment they report. And that's what's the big thing that's missing right now on these campuses, is these kids don't know where to go, and when they do go somewhere, they don't even know whether or not the person they're talking to can keep it on. Certain parts of the student population, like athletes, are treated differently. And you know, the fact that there's only going to be one, there's no special privileges for any group of students. I'm interested in your thoughts about the role of alcohol and drug abuse and sexual assault on college campuses. What, if anything, do you think can and should be done to reduce sexual assault violations in this context on the federal level? Well-intentioned efforts sometimes to move alcohol off campus simply moves to binge drinking. And you know, I think this needs to, needs to be the focus of constant attention. But uh, I'm not sure there's a one-size-fits-all policy. The most important part of that education piece is educating people about consent. That someone who is incapacitated cannot legally consent to sex. So the warning should be to predators who would take advantage of people who have been drinking. Obviously, it's also good for everyone to understand the dangers of alcohol consumption. Can we withhold federal funding of universities that won't comply with better reporting standards? You know, first time ever at college would have a confidential advisor. And we got real penalties with real teeth. We will penalize them for not complying. But we also need to make sure that the federal reporting standards are clear and user-friendly for families. How does this legislation address false accusations of sexual assault? Are there to be consequences for those who knowingly waste campus and law enforcement resources like there are for false reports of other crimes? This is a crime where we have rampant underreporting, but we have also taken steps for due process in this bill. Our legislation has not only has protections in for victims, but also has appropriate due process protections for the accused. Where's the proactivity? This seems like a reporting and record over the last couple of years, you've seen a heightened awareness, I think, across the country. And now you've got you've got penalties if campuses don't take this issue seriously, if college universities don't take this issue seriously. And don't you think at this point uh, we should put in, uh, in response to this, if this sounds like a bill that just is process and not proactive, don't you think we should encourage people to go on the It's On Us and take the pledge? Mm -hmm. We would encourage all students okay. that, are, that are part of this town hall. <laughs> Yeah. We should put that on both Facebook yeah. pages. That's a good idea. I'm here with my, my good friend, Senator Claire McCaskill, and we've been having this Facebook town hall trying to respond to questions about campus sexual assault and the legislation that uh, Claire's been a leader on, I'm proud to be a co sponsor of. We can do our part from Washington, but at the end of the day, this is also going to require uh, everybody across the country, universities, community colleges, all to be part of this. It's on us. Uh, activity, join this pledge, join this movement. Uh, we've got to make sure that our sons and daughters are safe on college campuses, but you too, as a student, can take, play an important role. You know, bystanders are not acceptable. Uh, there are moments in your life where you can make a difference that you will celebrate the rest of your life. And this is one of those moments. If you see someone who is in danger, if you see activity that you think um, is inappropriate, you have an obligation to step up and speak up. And that's why the It's On Us pledge is so important. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Thanks. Both.